I just turned on the light to see their reaction and you can see they are all happy that I've turned on the light in as much as it's raining. We have a heavy rainfall, but they're not bothered because the room is not that cool as you think. Welcome back guys. Today is the 12th day and here am I in my building room and I'm about to check on the bed. Though we have a heavy rainfall, but it doesn't stop me from checking on my chicks because these guys need my attention and I really need to care for them. So guys, I did peep on them a few minutes ago and I realized that most of them were so moody because the light was not turned on and um, also the weather is cold and you can see that these guys are so calm and if you look closely, you find out that they've all gone to settle at a particular place and if you also look closely here, you find out that we don't have much space around this place and they've all settled this other place. So guys, I'm going to turn on the light for you to see their reaction and know how they will react when they see me in the building room. So without wasting much of your time, let's check it out. So guys, here I am in the farm. I just entered into the building room and um, you can see these guys are doing so well. Yes, these guys are doing well. These guys are doing well. But I'm observing so many things. One of the things I'm observing is their litter. Their droppings is not what I expect. Sorry, 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 sorry. Remember I told you once you're in the farm, you need to be very careful. I was carried away because I just noticed something. So guys, if you look closely here, you find out that your droppings is not the way I expected. There is something which I've seen here which is not too good for these birds. Because droppings is one of the signals you can use in knowing how these birds are faring. So, I just noticed something on the ground and I've seen one or two droppings. I've seen some whitish droppings, I've seen some watery droppings. And also, I noticed here in the farm that these guys are very thirsty. Because if you look around, you realize that all their drinkers are empty. All their drinkers are empty. As you can see here, all their drinkers are empty. If you look behind me, all their drinkers are empty. And they're all around me trying to give me a kind of sign that they are thirsty. Please, can you give me one to drink? I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Don't worry, I'll take care of you, okay? With the water. I'm just here. I just entered. Calm down, okay? So, guys, these guys are very thirsty. And one good thing about these beds today is... Remember, this is day 12, and um, one good thing about them is that they are doing just great. I just noticed this guy. This is one of the guys I I marked here. I marked this guy the other day because he wasn't feeling fine. I marked him, and I think there's an improvement. I had to mark him so I can easily identify him. But today, I think this guy is sound. He's doing well. Okay, another thing I've noticed is... I think they are very hungry because most of the feed we we gave to them yesterday has almost finished. So most of their feed is almost finished. So guys, like I said, I've observed something which I don't really like. I don't know if you can see from your angle. If you see this dropping, this dropping is not really nice. This dropping, <laughs> come on, shift now. I know you're hungry. Come, I'll take care of you. Easy. The dropping I'm seeing you on the ground is not what I expect from them. But these are common things that happen in the farm. So, like these droppings, this is a whitish droppings, which is also a sign of coccidiosis. This whitish dropping is a sign of coccidiosis, and I'm going to make sure I handle it as fast as possible. So guys, these guys are really doing great. If you can see closely, they're growing bigger. <laughs> they're really growing bigger. These guys are growing bigger. If you watch closely, these guys are growing bigger. Come on, Come on guys. If you watch closely, this guy is growing bigger and it's really improving. Wow, how are you doing? Can you say hi to my fans? Hi, this guy is saying hi. Hi, hi. Oh yeah, come down. <laughs> these guys are doing great and I'm so, so, so ecstatic. I'm so ecstatic and um, I know you guys too are out there happy because we are making progress. Remember the first thing to do once you come into the farm is to move around to check if you have casualty or mortality. So I'm going to move around to see if I have any casualty or if there's any mortality around. Remember yesterday we had one. So guys, as I'm going to move around, I'm moving around to see 
if there's any casualty so guys i'm moving around to see how they are faring yesterday we had one mortality yesterday but today hopefully we're not going to have any mortality which i'm so certain we're not going to have any mortality i'm moving around to see if there's any mortality moving around please when you're walking be careful while walking so you don't step on them i'm moving around even when i'm moving around most of them are still following me behind that is a sign to let you know that these guys are thirsty they're trying to tell you come boss i'm thirsty please is there anything you can do for me i'm thirsty come on guys oh man yeah 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 is the sick bed we had right from the start i'm here with it now there were two which i've showed you one this guy is one of my sick bed there is no improvement because if you look closely you find out that this one is bigger than it ever since this guy fell sick he does not improve remember we marked him on the head there is no improvement apart from this you see this one is growing faster than this while this one still remains that way that doesn't mean it's not going to survive it might look this way but in a few weeks this guy might improve or he might it might likely die so for now i wish you good luck sorry but i know it's going to improve these guys are doing well so guys like i said i noticed there are some whitish droppings everywhere which is a sign of coccidiosis where these guys are really growing rapidly can you say hi can you say hi say hi come on don't be shy say hi so that's it so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to take the drinkers out and immediately i'll wash these rubbers then give them water immediately because they are so thirsty i'm sorry i'm sorry guys please calm down i'm sorry i will give you water don't worry sometimes they behave aggressive especially when they're hungry and thirsty you can see the way they are really surrounding this drinker cover that is a sign to let you know that they are very thirsty they are really surrounding it and they are trying to tell you come on boss i need water to drink please i'm thirsty don't worry i'll take care of you calm down i'll handle it give me time so guys for their sake i'm going to hasten up to see how i come on shoot, shoot, shoot. i'm going to hasten up to see how i attend to them because they are so thirsty they are so thirsty though today i wanted expanding them but due to the heavy rainfall i'm not going to expand them today because um i still want them to have that that warmness so i'm not going to expand them today uh, maybe i'll do the expansion tomorrow because if you look closely they've really they've really covered the brooder that is to say they need or they are due for expansion but i'm not going to expand them yet i'm not going to expand them yet come on relax i'll attend to you i just wish this sick guy recovers it's not that strong okay what i think i will do for this young man is i will see how i administer drugs to it specially so he can recover quicker that's what i'm going to do i'll see how to administer drugs specially for it because i really do not want to lose this guy I really do not want to lose this guy you can see how small it is others have grown taller while this one is still small that is another sign for you to know that we are having progress because initially you can see these guys were like this but uh, right now all of them are all grown why you see how small this one looks now so there's really progress in the farm these guys are really growing so guys once these guys are aggressive like this you need to be very careful because you might step on them if you're not careful so you need to be extremely careful can you see this guy this guy is really doing well wow 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 hi 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 can you say hello say hello <laughs> okay i'll drop you down so if you look closely you can see this dropping this dropping is not nice this particular dropping is not nice i'm trying to take them away i'm not talking to you now which one is your own now can you stay away if you look closely you see these droppings yeah if you look closely you see these droppings you shift from shift away please these droppings i don't really like these droppings so these guys sometimes they're always funny you want to play 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 okay Woo. <laughs> okay guys so i'm going to find a way to get these things fast as possible out because they are thirsty 
So like I say, if you know you love what I'm doing, please hit that smash that subscribe button. Don't hit it, but smash it the way you know you can smash it. Hit that subscribe button and also give this video a like as it also helps YouTube recommend these videos to others. And don't forget to share it if you know you love content like this. And if you know you are benefiting something from this channel also, please drop a comment in the comment section sharing your thoughts on what you see in the poultry farming business. This is really a nice thing for anyone to do. Like I've always said, please indulge yourself into farming. If you know you don't have passion for farming, keep watching my videos and I promise you, you will be a guru in this business. So guys, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. Please smash that subscribe button. We need more subscribers. We need more likes. We need more comments from you. This is and evident to show that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. I think I should give them water before food because I feel they're very thirsty. My reason is why I'm going to give them water before food is when I came in, there was no water in the farm. That means they are so thirsty. So I didn't mean I had water. Maybe I'll go for the food. But since I didn't have water, I'm going to go for water. So guys, I'm going to give them water. These guys are thirsty, so I'm going to give them water as fast as possible. Like I said, I'm going to give them water. While walking, you need to be careful. This one, put in the water. Make sure you don't pour water on the ground. Make sure you don't pour water on the ground while giving them their water. Try as much as possible to avoid pouring water on the ground. So guys remember when i came in i found out some whitish droppings which i've administered some medication that will handle that issue which i'm suspecting toxidosis i've administered drugs for them which i know is going to get rid of that so when you look around you find out that these guys are very thirsty and as you can see they're all drinking most of them are still by the side they're not bothered about the water do you know why the reason is most of them are so lazy. They are lazy. They are thirsty, but they are very lazy. Boilers are lazy birds, and most times, if you don't do the right thing, they will just remain there as if they don't have need. So that is it, guys. I'm going to give them food because I know that's the final thing I need to do for them. I'm going to give them food. Please, if you know you're watching, Please, I don't know where you're watching from. If you know you're new here. And you've not subscribed please hit on that subscribe button you know you love content like this and also give this video a like as it also help youtube to recommend these videos to others also help share this video so it helps reach a wider audience okay so i'm going to give them their food because i know they're hungry so guys i'm going to give them their food because i know they're hungry So remember guys, like I've always said, you don't need to be a genius to make money. All you need is the right orientation if you have the right lesson on what you're doing. So guys, I'm showing you guys how you can handle your cheats and how you can make money in poultry farming business. So hit that subscribe button, it is completely free. I'm giving you this knowledge for free. So encourage this channel by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That's all I need. Give me a thumbs up. So guys, that is it for today. The only thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to spread some sawdust on places I know are wet. Then um, I'll call it a day. 
these guys are doing very well and i'm so happy being with them and they also i feel they are so happy being with me and if you look very closely you find out that they've really shed it like their skin you see you can see their skin which is a nice sign that the healthy beds too i'm so happy and i know you guys watching are also happy please hit the subscribe button if you love what i'm doing and don't forget to share for others to benefit and also for this video to reach a wider audience give this video a like thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one this is some zoo.